Welcome to day six to seven of my live Facebook Marketplace dropshipping case study, where I show you guys everything that I'm doing on my Facebook Marketplace account, from where I'm getting my products from, what's selling, how much I'm profiting, and all of the dropshipping tips and strategies along the way. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I added more products, what other products I added to my Facebook Marketplace store, and also, of course, I got more sales, so I'm going to show you what sold, how much I'm profiting there, and also I'm going to show you guys how I added bank information to Facebook so that I can actually withdraw the funds and the profit that I'm making. Quick intro and let's go. All right, so let's get this show on the road. Let's see what happened in the last couple of days on my Facebook Marketplace account. Right before we jump into it, I want to remind you guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you are new and you will always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. And of course, like this video if you appreciate the value, share it with your family and friends so they can also learn about the wild and amazing world of dropshipping. So as you can see, here are the listings that I have on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account. And as you can see, there, there are more products here than we just saw recently because the more days that pass, the more my virtual assistant is adding more products and that way I'm actually getting more sales using the strategies that I talked about. Now, here are the products on my AutoDS store. So as you see, I have 69 products now and these are just the products that I simply added now recently to my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account. Of course, I'm doing everything through AutoDS. Here you can see one of the products. I'm just going to go inside the variant so you can understand how much I'm profiting on each of these products. So you can see that I have a 5% fee, which is how much Facebook is charging on my transactions with another 15% in profit. So that's my break even settings and my profit settings for every product that I'm selling. And if I find a bestseller, I raise the price in order to profit more. Now on my Facebook Marketplace account, I'll click on shipping orders. So you can see the new orders that I got on my account and as you see I have a variety of products that are selling but there is one product that's really becoming a bestseller and that is these crotchet hooks so let me show you this product here I'll go back to AutoDS and I will search for that product that's selling well for me here we go warm crotchet hooks art aluminum soft grip so it's this product I clicked on the source link so you can see where I'm getting this product from and as you can see I'm buying it here from Amazon for $10.48 with a 10% coupon. It's always a great idea to add products with coupons because that way you're simply going to make more profit on every sale. So we know that the product costs $10.48, now let's see how much I'm selling it for. So as you see here on my Facebook orders, I'm selling each unit for $15. Now let's try to see exactly how much profit I'm making on every time these crotchet hooks sell. So as you see my selling price is $15 as we can see in the variant settings with a 36% profit margin. That's because this product has been starting to sell well for me. And as I just mentioned, when you have a product that's starting to sell, you want to increase the product's price. You also have automation settings in AutoDS that will automatically raise your product price every time you sell and lower the price if the product doesn't sell for an X amount of days. So using the automation settings on AutoDS will really help you profit more on products that are selling and increase your chances of selling products that are not selling. So that pretty much covers up which products I'm selling, what happened in the last couple of days on my store. Now I wanna talk about adding bank information so that you can actually withdraw the funds from Facebook to your own bank account and enjoy your profits. In order to add your bank information to the Facebook Marketplace, the first thing that you wanna have ready is your bank information. In this case, I went with Payoneer as my bank account, as you can see here. So I'm going to request two more USD receiving accounts so that I will simply have more USD bank accounts to use on other marketplaces that I'm also selling on. So now it says we received your request. Payoneer received my request for two USD bank accounts and here they are. As you can see, I have two new USD accounts. Now what I'm going to do is copy these bank account details onto my Facebook Marketplace. So let me show you how it's done. First thing you wanna do is head into the Facebook Marketplace, click on your account, and then click on your sales. Here you will see your pending balance. What you wanna do is click on view payment info. Now you can start entering your new bank information. So enter all the right information. In this case, I'm copying the details from my Payoneer account, as you can see here. I'm simply copying each line, the account number, the routing number, confirm your bank account number, and then finish payment setup. That's all the steps that there are. As you can see here, the information that I provided are now on the Facebook Marketplace. Facebook is going to go through a quick verification process and then they will approve my bank account. That's all there is to it. That's how easy it is to add your bank account information. There should be no problem with that as long as it's a real bank account. And Payoneer, of course, is a real bank account, so you can use them. Of course, you can also use a real physical bank account if you live in the US because Facebook is looking for a US bank account. 
So in this case, if you're an international seller, you can use Payoneer, but also remember that you have to have a US IP address in order to have shipping options on the Facebook marketplace, which I mentioned before. So if you do not have shipping options, then people will not be able to see your listings in the US and you won't be making much sales on the Facebook marketplace. So keep that in mind, use a US bank account so that you can actually withdraw your funds and enjoy your profits. That sums up days six to seven on the Facebook marketplace case study. I hope that you found it informational. I hope that you can get some inspiration from it to start your own Facebook dropshipping business. It's actually really, really simple if you simply follow the steps that I provided in this case study. Once again, I invite you guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy the content. We deliver so much content when it comes to Facebook, dropshipping, Shopify, eBay, and we've got more marketplaces coming up like Amazon and Wix and so much more surprises. So if you're into the e-commerce field and you like it, then this is the YouTube channel that you want to follow. Thank you for watching and good luck on the Facebook marketplace.